Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rucker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the superhero jump in Adobe After Effects. So once you've found the perfect location, you need to mount your camera to your tripod, you need to frame up the shot, and then you need to start rolling. Now from here, you want to run in front of the camera, find your mark, and do the most epic jump up towards the sky that you physically can. The more effort that you put into this, the more believable the effect is going to be. If you put minimal effort into the jump, then it's going to look really terrible and completely unbelievable. So go all out and do the most insane jump that you physically can. When you're framing up the shot, it's important to avoid filming close or mid shots. You need to shoot on a wide shot to ensure that you capture the full length of the person in front of the camera. Now once you've done your jump you just need to run out of the shot and you just need to keep rolling the camera for around 10 seconds. This is your clean plate and you need this to complete the effect. Without it it's just not going to work. Now once you have that footage you need to get this onto your computer and you need to get this imported into Adobe After Effects to do the editing. So let's get into it. So once we have loaded up Adobe After Effects, we just need to begin by starting a new composition. So we're just going to go over to new composition and here we're just going to rename this superhero and we're just going to make sure that our width is 1920, our height is 1080 and our frame rate is 23.976 frames per second. And then we're just going to press OK. So from here, we just need to import our footage. So we're going to go over to this project tab on the left. We're going to double click press import file and once you have found your file you just want to press that and press open now that's just going to take a few seconds to load and when it does you just want to drag it down onto the timeline so just drag this down to here and now from here you just want to scrub through and find the point where you did the superhero jump and once you've found that you just want to cut this by pressing command shift and then d and then you just want to scroll to the start of that and do the same thing command shift d and then we can just delete the first part of that video and then we just need to scroll through and we just need to find the clean plate so that is just here and we're gonna do the same thing again command shift d scroll to the end command shift d and we'll just delete the end of that okay so now we've got two videos we've got our jump here and we have the clean plate just here so what we're going to do we're just going to drag these back to the start and we want to make sure that our clean plate is underneath the jump. So we're just going to drag that down. So from here, we just need to animate our jump. So we need to find the point where we're at our highest in the jump. So I'm just going to scroll through here. And this was my highest point. You want to try and find the point before you start to fall back down to earth. So for me, it was right there. And then you're just going to do the same thing as you did earlier. You just want to trim the clip by pressing Command, Shift and D. And now with the second video layer here, you want to double click, go up into time and press freeze frame. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning now, you'll see that if we play through, I jump up into the air and I freeze in time. So what we need to do from here is we need to cut out myself here and we just need to animate that up. So to cut myself out, we're just gonna go up to the pen tool on the top left. And then we're just gonna zoom in to around 400%. And I'm just going to go through the process of drawing a mask around myself here. So as soon as you have completed the mask, we just need to go through the process of animating the motion now. So we're just going to go to the very start of the freeze frame. And we're just going to load up our transform tab. And then we're just going to create a keyframe on the position. So we're going to press the stopwatch there. And we're just going to scroll across a few frames. And then from here, we just want to pull the positioning up. So we'll just pull that up and just make sure that I leave the frame. So Once you have adjusted the position of that correctly and that looks roughly okay, we just need to speed up the first initial jump just a touch. So we're just gonna go over to the jump and we're just gonna find the point where I leave the air. We're just gonna do the same thing again. We're just gonna press Command, Shift and D. And then I'm just gonna adjust the time of this a little bit. So I'm gonna go up to time, time stretch and I'm just gonna pull this to 80. Okay, now once you've done that, you'll notice that there will probably be a missing keyframe in between this clip here and the frozen layer. So you just want to pull the frozen layer over just to make sure that that gap is filled. Perfect. Now we're almost done with this effect. We just need to add some motion blur to make this look a little bit more realistic. So we're just going to close up this layer here. We're going to select all of the video layers. We're going to press the motion blur box over here. And then we're just going to activate that by going over to the motion blur tab over here and pressing that. What I'm going to do now to here, just to completely sell the effect, I'm just going to add a little bit of camera movement just to really seal in the effect. 
So to do so, I'm just going to press Layer, New, Null Object. I'm going to select all of the video layers except for the Null Object. And then I'm just going to pull this Pick Whip over here and pull it on top of the Null One. Now from here, I'm just going to go back to the very beginning. I'm going to open up the Transform tab in Null. And I'm just going to set a keyframe for the scale and the positioning. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the effect. And from here, I'm just going to adjust our scale to 120. And I'm just going to pull the positioning up as well. So now when we watch this back, we have a little bit of digital camera movement added to the effect. Okay, now that's nice, but I want to see the camera ricochet a little bit, almost as if like the, the force from this jump made the camera shake. So I'm going to find the point where I take off, which is just here. I'm going to set a keyframe for the scale position and the rotation. I'm going to go back two frames. I'm going to do the same thing again, set all of those keyframes. Then I'm going to go over six frames and then I'm just going to do the same thing again. Now I'm going to go back to that middle set of keyframes here and I'm just going to adjust the scale and the rotation a little bit. So I'm just going to pull the scale up to 130. I'm going to adjust the rotation to 5 and then I'm just going to go over and I'm going to set the rotation again but this time I'm going to take it the other way. I'm going to set this to a negative 2 and then I'm going to go over to the other set of keyframes in the middle and I'm going to do the same thing again so I'm going to set this to a negative 2. So when we watch this back, you'll notice that there is a little bit of ricochet, a little bit of camera shake added in here. And that's it. All you need to do from here is to just export this video and get it imported into your video editor. If you enjoyed watching that video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most amazing day today. I will see you next time.